Jeshi Krishna, Marunam Martinace, who Italy Tiaucu, and who Rajkot Marauchu. My name is Martina, and I come from Italy, and I live in Rajkot. When they first told me that I was coming to India with a scholarship for a boarding school program, I was quite surprised. I was like, what's a boarding school? I mean, we don't have boarding schools in Italy. And I was like, mom, what's a boarding school? And I asked all my friends, what's a boarding school? So I started looking it up on the internet and I found out that was the concept of living in a school, in a hostel during the weekdays and then being hosted by a host family during the weekends. And I was quite happy. I was like, wow, that's a nice experience. Like, but I didn't know what I was going to face. So when I arrived in India and I saw my hostel for the first time, I felt like, oh my God, I'm going to live here. Like, this is going to be my home. And it's pretty tough at the beginning because the rules are quite strict and they're very different from the concept of rules that we have in our own countries. But when you adjust, you'll have a great experience. So the boarding school program has a lot of ups and downs. The most important thing to have is a support from family and from friends. I have so many close friends in my hostel. Like my dorm mates helped me a lot during my year and I'm so grateful to them. I couldn't live without them in my hostel. In my school, I started playing tabla and I played tabla for around five months and it was one of the greatest part of my exchange. I really love playing tabla and I'm so sad I couldn't, I wasn't able to bring one back to Italy, but I'm sure I'll find the tabla there and I'll keep on playing. My teacher was so nice. He was always ready to help and to teach me at any time, any day. And I learned so many songs, so many kaidas, and I really, really enjoyed it. So I was hosted by Joshi family in the Rajkot chapter. And they're the most amazing thing that ever happened to me during my exchange. My sister, Nidhi, was the greatest person I've met in India. And she was always by my side, ready to help and re ready to have fun and to enjoy with me. My parents were so nice. I will miss so much drinking chai with my mom or going out for a scooter drive with my dad or just watching a TV series all together on the sofa. And they're really, they're really so important for me. So I'm proud to be Indian. I'm proud to be Gujarati and I'm proud to be a Joshi. So India taught me how to be patient. My short temper at the beginning was so short that I used to get angry for anything, every little, little thing. But in India, I started meditation and I learned how to adjust, how to accept what's different from me and how to be patient with the difference. And now I don't blame the others because they're different. I love the others because they're different. And India is a country of diversity. And being here made me realize how big the world is. Like I'm, I've, been, like I've been abroad for the first time for such a long period of time. And I really got the chance to understand a lot of things, what I want from my life, what I, who I want to be, who I want by my side, and the things I want to do. I want to explore. I want to be the diversity for someone else. I want people to come to Italy and I want them to experience what I experienced in India because it's something great and it's a, it's a special opportunity that AFS gives us.